Jean from Happy Indulgence and today I am filming a massive book haul. It has been quite some time since I filmed a book haul video. So these books are some of the books that I was sent from publishers and some of the books I purchased and got from subscription boxes over the past few months. So I wanted to go through all of these books. There are definitely a lot of them. So the books that I'm going to go through first are the books that I purchased myself. Okay, so the first one is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. I've heard so much about this book and it's basically an Own Voices debut book about a girl who is a seamstress and she joins the King's competition with a bunch of other tailors to become the Imperial Tailor and then competition's tough and stuff like that. So it sounds like an amazing read and I friggin' love the cover. It's so, so beautiful. The next book I bought is Natalie Tan's Book of Luck and Fortune by Rizal Lim. So this is actually a contemporary romance read and I really was sold on this book based on another blogger Kevin's review on it. It's because it's about a girl called Natalie Tan and she basically discovers San Francisco's Chinatown. She inherits her grandmother's restaurants. Being a foodie myself and loving Chinese food and Asian food, this really really appealed to me because obviously there's going to be a lot of food stuff and also it's another own voices read as well featuring a Chinese main character so I'm really excited to read this one. The next book I purchased is actually The Family Law by Benjamin Law and I bought this at the Brisbane Writers Festival because Benjamin Law was one of the panels that I watched and he actually signed and personalized this book as well. I've heard a lot about this book it's basically like a set of essays about Benjamin Law's family who's super wacky super Asian I wanted to read this book and it has become an SBS series as well. Next book is a copy of Dark Dawn that I ordered from Waterstones and I wanted this one because of the black sprayed edges and it's a signed first edition by Jay Kristoff which is pretty cool. So yes I'm really glad to own this edition on my shelves. Next book I bought is Middle Game by Shona McGuire and I've heard a lot about this book. It's an adult fantasy that basically covers like alternate realities and twins and there's sorcery and magic in here and I'm pretty much sold on that. A lot of people have been saying that this is their book of the year uh, for 2019 so I definitely want to read this before the end of the year. Plus I've read almost all of Shona McGuire's books except for the October Day series because it's a long urban fantasy but I really really enjoy them and I think she's just such a genius writer. She has a really great way of words and a great mind to create really complex worlds as well. Next book I bought is a Booktopia exclusive edition of Ninth House and this looks like such a gorgeous cover. Look, look, so you've got the embossing in the middle and it's got like the snake and it's signed by Lee Bardugo as well. I have actually read Ninth House already. It's the name of the book club pick for October. I reviewed it in my September wrap up which I'll link up above as well if you want to hear my thoughts on it. Next book I bought is actually Capturing the Devil and I pre-ordered this from Premier Collectibles because it comes with an alternate dust jacket which is this one. I've uh, put it over the normal dust jacket over here which is the final cover and it comes with the Audrey and Creswell print which is absolutely beautiful and this was like the only way you could get these pre-order goodies which is why I pre-ordered it through Premier Collectibles. And this version is also signed over here which is really really cool. Next book I bought is the Tea Dragon Festival and this is a sequel to the Tea Dragon Society and it's actually an illustrated graphic novel. The Tea Dragon Society is like such a pure and cute childhood book about dragons that can grow tea from their heads and and the people that raise the dragons and it's just such a pure light-hearted read it's so wholesome and probably one of my favorite graphic novels so I had to get Tea Dragon Festival and I'm really happy that it's really thick as well which is really really cool so the next stack are going to be books that I got from subscription boxes so the first one is my Fae Crate exclusive of Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. It's a signed first edition which is really cool. So obviously I wanted a US edition as well to match the rest of the ones on my shelves and this is so so pretty. Next one is Dark Age by P.S. Brown and I actually ordered the Fae Crate uh, hangover recovery kit for Dark Age. 
Now that I look back at it, I'm trying to sell some of my items that I got from it because I haven't even read Iron Gold yet. I love Red Rising and the first three, but I haven't read the two sequels. So yeah, I don't really know why I ordered that, but uh, I'm glad to own Dark Age. Look how hefty it is. Maybe I'll read it sometime soon. I'm lucky enough to currently be an Illumicrate rep because of my Instagram. You can use my code HAPPY5 to save on a three or six month subscription to Illumicrate. So I've received three boxes from them so far. One of them was Gideon the Ninth and it's got black sprayed edges. I actually tried reading this book. I think it's about like lesbian necromancers in space. I really liked the main character Gideon so far, but I just found it really difficult to get into because of the language that is used. And I didn't really know like what was going on. Like she's pretty much like a sassy necromancer thing and the in spaceships and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got from it. And it took me forever to get into and continue reading. So maybe I'll have to pick it up when I'm feeling a bit better later on. Next book I got from Illumicrate is Kingdom of Souls, The Last Witch Doctor. I've heard a lot of great things about this book. It's like a own voices read about witchery and witchcraft. And it's about a girl called Ara who once who was caught between gods and monsters, her ancestors and future. And she must sacrifice more and more of her years to save her family and her kingdom. So it's basically about witchcraft, which I really do appreciate. And this copy is so gorgeous. It has these beautiful sprayed edges. A letter from the author and it's signed too, over here. So yeah, I'm really glad to own this edition from Illumicrate. It's so gorgeous. I also received the Illumicrate Dark Dawn box and it comes with yellow sprayed edges. It's also signed by Jay Kristoff over here. And yeah, this edition is so gorgeous. So it's got, it's a UK edition, which is super pretty and it's exclusive as well. I actually ordered the Owl Crate for this month. I think it's the October one and it comes with an exclusive signed edition of I Hope You Get This Message by Farah Naz Rishi. And this book is basically about like a bunch of teenagers who find themselves at the end of the world and they only have seven days before the world is pulled apart. An alien entity is giving civilization only a few days before they hit the kill switch. Arif Kwan, who wrote The Poppy War, you guys should know that I absolutely love that book, actually recommended this on Goodreads and I knew I had to pick it up. It isn't a book that's gotten a lot of buzz so far, but I'm really glad that I have this so I can pick it up. In the Owl Crate, it also came with Cryer's War and I believe this is an exclusive cover that's a bit more blue than the original cover. Look how gorgeous it is and this is a signed edition as well over here the Cryer's War, I've heard so much about it. A bit in romance, it's a fantasy book. I think it's got a bisexual character as well. A lot of people are buzzing about this book on Twitter and whatnot, so I'm really keen to read this one. The next book I got from Spearcraft Book Box because I won a three month subscription is Swipe Right for Murder by Derek Millman. So this book basically sounds like a thriller read and it's about social media as well. Apparently it's a gay YA as as well and yeah like I actually haven't heard of this one until I received it in the box so I'm keen to check it out. Okay now for the final stack and these are books that I received from Aussie publishers for review or for promotion and I'm really thankful to all the publishers for sending these books to me. So the first one is Scars Like Wings and this is an ARC edition by Erin Stewart and this book has been reviewed by Jenna on the blog but it's basically about a girl called Ava who is uh, severely disfigured after being in a house fire. Apparently it's the YA answer to wonder, which it says on the front here. And yeah, it's a very nuanced book and I've heard a lot of great things about this one. We were actually part of the blog tour, so if you're keen on hearing more about this book, check out Happy Indulgence Books for our review on this one. Next book I got from the publisher is Permanent Record by HK Mary H.K. Choi. And this is about a 
a college dropout called Pablo who meets a pop juggernaut called Leanna Smart. They have a very complicated relationship and that's pretty much all I know about this one. I really enjoyed Emergency Contact which was Mary H.K. Choi's other book and I'm keen to check this out. I think it's an adult contemporary romance. So I read this in October which is Wayward Son. I really enjoyed this one actually. It's the sequel to Carry On which features Simon and Baz but this is basically what happens after you're the hero and after your hero's quest is over and Simon's all depressed and stuff like that but I really really enjoyed this one because there's so much chemistry between the two there's so much angst there's so much for them to work through and they go to America and it's pretty much like a road trip and all these zany things happen and they bump into vampires and they get into all these zany antics and stuff like that so it's it was just a lot of fun for me. Next book I got is something I'm really excited about and this is actually the art to A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Camara from Bloomsbury so this actually isn't out until January so I got an early arc of it which I'm super excited to read is the sequel to A Curse So Dark and Lonely which is a bit of like a Beauty and the Beast retelling one of my favorite Beauty and the Beast retellings so I'm really really keen to read this one. I was also sent a hardcover collector's edition of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and this is the, an illustrated edition and oh my gosh it's so gorgeous I own the rest as well on my shelves it is just illustrated so so beautifully but yes there are so many gorgeous illustrations here and I love these editions I was also sent two miniature copies of the Throne of Glass series and the thing about these editions are that they have like beautiful end pages and each of the characters celebrate a different character in the Throne of Glass series which means that their names are highlighted in different colours. So in Throne of Glass you've got Selena featuring her name in this violet ink colour and then in Assassin's Blade is Sam featuring his name in the cerulean colour. It's just cute for Instagram pretty much and cute if you're a collector and lover of the Throne of Glass series. I'm also really excited about this one but I'm reading The Toll by Neil Schusterman so this is the third book in the Ark of the Scythe series and it's so so good so it's got over 600 pages and it's actually the finale of the series but I absolutely love this dystopian world where Scythe actually glean the population so basically the world is so advanced that no one really dies anymore and Scythe are the only ones that can select who actually dies uh, just to make sure the population is controlled. The toll is about what happens after so Thunderhead actually ended on a huge cliffhanger and I'm so keen on the toll. It is so so good guys especially if you love this series and if you love like advanced dystopians that are really complex oh my gosh I'm lapping this up and I'm already halfway through. Next book I got is actually from the author and her name is June Her. This book The Silence of Bones is actually her debut. It actually isn't out until April 2020 and it's about a girl who forms a bond with an inspector and I believe there is a murder mystery so they need to investigate what happens. So it's set in like historical Korea and a lot of people have compared this one to Stalking Jack the Ripper series but like a Korean version. I'm actually friends with the author so I'm really excited to read her debut. The next two books I received are from Pantera Press and that's Whisper and Weapon by Lynette Noni. So I'm actually hosting the weapon launch in Brisbane for Lynette Noni and I read Whisper a while ago. I couldn't tell you too much about it so far but it's about a girl called Jane who is basically like kept in this facility where she can't speak and she doesn't say anything but then she learns to harness uh, the power of words and it's really empowering. It's like a, a bit of a thriller you don't really know what's going on at the start and then the world slowly expands and expands and Weapon is basically the sequel to it. So I'm really keen to read Weapon and to see what happens and to host the launch soon in Brisbane. Next book I received is Angel Mage by Garth Nix. I actually haven't read any Garth Nix books before but I know people who have absolutely loved them and Angel Mage is basically his new an angelic fantasy where angels, heroes, gunpow powder and high magic make an appearance and it's set in an alternative 17th century and it's got some beautiful 
maps as well, which makes me really, really curious about this book. So I can't wait to read this one. From Bloomsbury, I also received Embers of Memory, a Throne of Glass game. So this is actually really, really gorgeous. It's a card game for two players. Uh, it's based off the Throne of Glass series, so it's a bit of a memory game. I actually haven't played it yet, but I'm really keen to open it up and to give it a go with my partner because we love our board games. Next book I got from a publisher is Pumpkin Heads by... Rainbow Royale and Faith Erin Hicks. I have read this graphic novel. It's just so beautiful. It's basically about two friends who work in a pumpkin patch. It's very Halloween-y and one of the guys wants to chase this girl that he's never talked to but he's had a crush on for several years and the other one keeps on encouraging him and it's just like so soft and I actually didn't really know about what pumpkin patches were basically because I'm Australian and we don't really do you anything for Halloween but it was just a really cute book about friendship about getting to know each other about like seasonal friends as well and what constitutes a real friend or just people a friendship of convenience and it was just so cute I just felt all the feels from this one next book I got is The Beautiful by Renee Ardia I've heard a lot about this book so far not so much reviews about it but it's basically about vampires in New Orleans which is a city ruled by the dead so I've heard a lot about like the vampires that are in this one as well. Basically vampires are making a comeback apparently. I love Vampire Diaries and the originals which it kind of sounds a bit like so I'm keen to read this one. I also got a copy of The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Oh my gosh this is one of my most anticipated reads. I am so excited to read this one. Basically it's about like solving the puzzle of a book and there's a hidden labyrinth be beneath the surface of the world. There's like shifting alliances, twisting tunnels. The Starless Sea is the home of storytellers, story lovers and those who will protect our stories at all costs. So it sounds absolutely wonderful. I've heard it compared to The Night Circus. Obviously that's her first book but I can't wait to read this one. I'm so excited. Okay I also got a copy of Serpent and Dove and I've actually read this one for October. I absolutely loved it. It's basically a fake marriage trope and an enemies to lovers romance. So if that hasn't sold you already uh, it's also between a witch and a witch hunter and oh my gosh I love this one so so much book that I've got for this book haul is a book called Our Stop by Laura Jane Williams and this is arriving summer 2019 and this is an uncorrected proof copy it's a contemporary romance about a guy who notices a girl who gets a 7 30 train every morning and he posts about her in the daily paper so yeah, it sounds like a really, really cute read that I can't wait to read. So I'm so tired now. Oh my gosh, but we're done. We're done. So that was my super massive book haul from the past few months of 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more. Thanks guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.